This is unbelievable, this. Do you know how things sort of happen at the same time? I did the oil timer today, and everything seemed to be working alright. And then, um, the oil, I was checking, the oil burner was on, but the oil burner wasn't on. The radios were look warm, but the oil burner wasn't actually working. I go out to the oil burner, turn the heat up, start it up again. It's a lot of noises. Come in here and bleed the radiators. Water came out at the start a wee bit. Air came out, but there's nothing. There's no water on the top of that radiator. Tried the kitchen one, same thing. And I thought, there must be no water in that cistern upstairs. Uh, when I light the coal fire, sometimes the coal fire will overboil. And I took a look up in the attic. Sure enough, there's no water in the system. Uh, I was out the oil burner. Took the lid off the oil burner. And um, who all does this in Boxing Day? Like, I took the lid off the oil burner. And I, I, I took the wee screw, loosened the air screw out of the pump. There's no air coming out, no water coming out of the pump. But the pump was running. Everything's running now, like. But so basically what's happening is the, the, oil's over, the water's overheating but not getting pumped around the system. It's just got so low. I came up here to the attic. I took the lid off this here. Completely empty. It's not showing up here, no light. Completely empty. Um, I can follow up by a hose now. There's a wee valve there. You probably see the pliers pulling it out. But uh, I want to see if I can loosen that valve about there. Get some water in. If water doesn't come in here, I'm going to loosen this big boy here. It's just a matter of getting water in. So if I even loosen that big one, I've never known that wee button in there to get jammed before. Normally they don't turn off, but that button stuck there a wee bit of water coming out. So it's just stuck. So that's why there's air, there's a lot of air now when that fills up there. You see, these wee uh, sustenance never had to get used. See, as soon as that ball cock goes up, it's going to stick again. So, it's not a hard job to fix. As a, if there's an on-off valve not there, if there's a valve to turn that off, I can turn it off. As soon as it's apart, I might be able to just buy that washer. Get that tomorrow. But like, if the water got down much lower, the bottle could have blew up like. And it was making some weird noises there. If I be honest, it does make noises. But I never got round to bleeding, that's why I'm wee jobs. I have to make jobs to do, and you can't do them all, like. And that was one that was left. So by the time I looked, but it's funny how it happened to go kaput the day I do the timer. Oh God, what's gone wrong, like? If it, why could I not do it yesterday? Why could I not do it next week? Why did I have to go on the night after I did the timer, like? That's been going wrong for months, maybe a year. Before that water disappeared, there. Eh? I'm so annoyed that it actually came to a head, did it? So we'll see if this ball cock still turns it off or not. If it doesn't, it'll overflow. It's freezing out there, freezing. The fog out there, the rain out there, the guy wonder is thick, pure white ice. Things always go wrong on the really coldest days, doesn't it? The timer broke in the last time freezing fog. The timer went. And then it got mild weather. Everything's going grand. And then I changed the, the timer today, took it away and now this goes on the next coldest spell. This summer I might try and flush that out, but I don't like flushing the system because I've got antifreeze in that. There's still antifreeze in it because when it falls over under the street you can smell it. What's that in the car? Some kind of foam or stuff will come up there. I don't know. What happened? Fall there, I can't stand here all day. Some crap comes in this business, don't they? I would love to get rid of that black water tank there, you know. Bungalow roost pieces are very small and they're not very high, like. They're not much use. That's all the crap over that side there. But see all that stuff? It's all important, you know. See if you throw something out? Oh, you've been eating it. I lie there for years, years. Well, that's fun up. What have we got up here now, like? Another bit of the caravan there. Threw that up here out of the way. That's part of the caravan. Motorbike jacket, I always love that motorbike jacket there. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice piece of, uh, I, I, I always have a thing about coats like, 
Ah, that wee motorway jacket there, like, it's, you see where all the lines all match up and all? That's designer, like, designer. All the wee lines, if, if you button it up, uh, the lines all match up and all. Uh, no good in an accident, like, fell off, cut myself. That's what happened, I used it on a summer's day. That's meant for summer's day, you had the air and all go through there. Ah, a heap of shaking, and I fell off, cut. That was that side there, it all got broke there. Kajura, the worst type of material they advertised at the time. There's North Frank Thomas jacket. A uh, couple of old videotapes over there. Uh, things we waste money on nowadays. I used to work in uh, Adrian Lennon factory in Stuban. There's the actual Adrian sign there. So every time they have a museum, I've got the Adrian sign in there. That was behind reception. People think it's junk, a lot of valuable stuff up here. All them uh, panels there belong to Adrian there as well. I hope some, someday they make a wee, uh, a wee display. And I'll be able to donate all that stuff. I don't want to make money on it. I just want to preserve a bit of, preserve a bit of history. As soon as somebody wants to take it, I'll give it to them. If some museum or someone wants that stuff, I'll be glad to get rid of it. Give it to them. Just shut off the plant. Oh look, that's not going to shut off now. Oh, it's just fucked all together. That ball cocks, that button's completely wrecked. I do me the night now. But that needs cheese. Not moving at all. Ah, it's probably 25, 30 years old that. I'll get back down this ladder again now. I'll stop this in case I fall. Listen to screw now in the pump. See if I can let some air out. I'm out there, but it's not letting air out. So unless I go through the radiator, you think it would have come down here, there, wouldn't you? It's not going to come out of there. Try the radiators. The thermostat up a wee bit there. See if that makes any difference. Probably not. But quicker if I can let the air out of here instead of the every radiator in the house. It's not going to make no difference when we go to the radiators. I had that turned right down to 2 again because I knew it wasn't going right. Then I might blow the thing up. There should be water now now. I'm going to try and drain this radio now. That's the one that was making... I uh, started off all the black stuff when I first turned it on. Then air and then nothing. Oh, I've got water now, alright. That's it done there. Radio in this living room. This is the original radio in here. It's too dark to see. I never use it. But uh, I just stopped because there's water in that too. It's behind the sofa, it's no good. So I put that radio in when I moved into the house. Radio's never used. It's behind the freezer and all. Kitchen. So. I thought maybe because it weren't used and never turned on. So even though that's turned off now, in fact the water's there, it's working. That's the system fixed now. I thought maybe there's no water, I couldn't be no water on it. <sighs> Thing on my half press. Don't understand it. Don't know what it's for, it's hard to show up either. It's a funny wee shaped thing, I don't get my torch. We've never had it in our old house. I've never seen anybody else's house. You open it, open it up and that's there, right? But are you supposed to open and close it? I don't know. I've never seen one they buy, like, so... I usually open it up, it usually has it a bit. But you can take it half lock, you see, I don't know. But maybe if you left that half, came down in the morning, in the morning it could be flooded. Oh, it's not going to go on now. See, stuff is not broke, don't fix it. And if I want hot water, I'll just turn on this valve here. So I might just run that to get air out. See if there's air in that. And then the pump in the bottom, that's the one for the coal fire. 
That was my old stunt heating pump of the old boiler. The fly moved in this house, that pump was broke. So I got the pump off the old boiler and put it in there. It's not going yet. That's the thing of this thermostat. I got the control from the old system. Works out thermostat and stuff. Plumbing here is bad, like. But you have to make do what you have, like. I'm in my shed here. I screwed this ball cock apart. Ah, uh, the mechanism and all. Where to do it? It's lying there somewhere. But I'll tell you what I noticed. What did I do? There it is. Uh. So I screwed the mechanism apart. No, God, there's all the bits that fell out now. I have to remember how they go back together. But there's nothing actually wrong with it on the washers. That wee bellows working perfectly well. And the problem is this here thing here. The wee pin. The plastic goes through copper. And it's tight as anything. I cannot push it. That's supposed to move freely there like. That is tight. Put a bit of WD-40 on it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. See by the time I drive down to the plumber. And he's not going to have that wee but It's going to send me the whole thing. It's going to be a tenner. It's always... You never get 785, it's going to be a tenner. And uh, by the time I put the petal in, a couple of pound petal, go to the plumbers, spend an hour and a half, but then you go down there, wait, and then mess about. I'm going to take that pan out and I'm going to drill that hole slightly bigger, make it freer, because I just reckon it's down to corrosion over the years. So I'm going to put the, the closest drill that I have to that hole, because the water wouldn't doesn't come out there, or does it? I don't know, I'm going to give it a go anyway. So I'm, I'm going to knock this pan out completely. I can't farm it because I need two hands. But I'll just get a wee nail now and tap that pan out. And I'm going to try a wee drill bit and see what happens. Uh, five millimeter bits far too small. Six millimeter bits too big. So I made my imagine that's probably done in metric. Not metric. Imperial. Imperial whatever one it is. Inches. It's done in the inches. So this is millimeters. Um so maybe I won't draw the whole way through, I'll draw through a wee bit. Just to slightly widen it. Oh, it's just going through too quick. I just want to so the pun moves easier. So, I'm going to see what happens here now. I'll try the wee pun now to see what happens now. What do you see? Um, the pun is still way stuff to move. I can push it now by hand. But it's still stiff. But I reckon, see, I don't want to have it so water pushes past it. I'm going to put that together now and try that to see how it goes. I reckon that uh, I'll put this vice in a wee bit. Because I reckon that it was never too loose to begin with. I reckon that might, see, that, that tank never works. It's not like a you toilet you're flushing every day. Centre heating tank just sits and sits and sits and sits. It doesn't do a big lot. Or I should have drawn it out the whole way. You see, it never will be in the full way. See how I'm pushing that down now? It seems to, um, the problem was the water wasn't getting out. So, I'm going to wriggle that back and forward a couple hundred times now, my finger. I reckon that'll do it, put it back together. I just drilled it the whole way out. So it's it's easy to move now, my fingers. See, he's trying to hold up mobile phone and do things. You see, the pin moves easy now, like. I don't have to, so. If water gets out, it gets out. I don't think it will. Because, um. Like, I've never done this before. Going by the other bit of fitting. See that much crap on this bench? You see, it's a like camouflage, you leave something there, you don't see it. That rubber seal covers the whole thing. So it does. Not 100% sure about that rubber seal. Ah, so no water gets near that pan. The water's at that side. Them all out. So no water gets near that pan. So by having that pan loose like that, no water can get out of the pan. So that's nice and loose there now. I'm going to put this back together and see what happens. I'm going to try and tape this. I have the phone propped up here. So there's my wee bit. I'm looking, it's a bit hard me trying. Okay, I need assistance. Uh, the wee foot in there now. So it's got a wee dumple on it. It's a wee dumple on it. So this can only go on the one way. I'm going to stand out here because I don't know. Hopefully the phone will pick it up. The wee dumple fits in that way. It can only go on the one way. I had to knock that out with a screwdriver. And then the wee ring goes over it. 
That was very hard to get that ring off. Um, just notice there, you're not going to get the ring on straight while that's in the full way. Or will you? No, that has to be right slightly. So you need to sort of start that off crooked to get the ring on straight. Once the ring goes on, then it's going to the place. I'll tighten that up with a vice grips. Um, this wee boy, I didn't take it out, fell out. That goes in there. So that, that's nice and loose. The wee washer goes in there. Uh, that wee white boy that fell off there. Just slots on the top. You can twist that one's on the cistern. So that there screws on to the pipe in the cistern there. Ball cock now. Don't know if I like to call them ball cocks now or not. That goes on there. The wee split pin goes back in again. We use the old split pin. I don't know which it's here. We just said and done. Trying to line the wee holes up. My eyes fit cheap. I, I can work these things out, but as fine as I'm getting older, my fingers are getting sore, my eyesight's going. Oh, it would have been handy years ago. I'm a bit of a mess now, like. My last blood pen was tight getting out, so it's going to be tight getting in. I'll straighten this blood pen up in the way. See this, see this shed here? It's actually organized, you know. I'll try this side. It's getting the light to shine on. More or less lined up with that, you know. A wee tap with a hammer, a wee bit of wee persuader. Ah, splat punch three now. You screw it over it, bend it. That's a that's a complete now. Like you plastic bit fell off again, but sure that that'll do that to, uh where's my screwdriver? We got a screwdriver. Don't know how much of this has come out in the camera like. Uh -huh. So I need to be in front. I don't like being on camera. Just bend the split pin over. With that wee white boy file now. Oh, we get him. So that's basically it back together now. So that look, that's nice there. Oh, you, problem solved there now. Actually goes that way there. No, that goes that way. Goes that way. I reckon that's the job done. I'm just tightening this up now. It's handy having a wee vice, you know. Can anybody really do stuff like this in your hand? If it was brand new, you, you could hold it in your hand, but. You can get out stuff like this. That's good and tight there now. Good and tight sounds German, doesn't it? There's my wee white thing there now. So when did they put that wee bit of plastic on it? That's her now, like, complete. So they're right back in the attic again, now there's a tank. So that fitting just goes on, just showing up. That fitting just goes on like so, and screws on. Then again, I need two hands. That just screws on there. It would help if I was turned the right way. So I need two hands for this. So that just screws on to that bolt, easy enough. I'm gonna get started. That's her screwed in place now. Put on the white cap now again. See that? The problem that's falling, I block out the one light. You see now the wee pin's coming out. The wee pin wasn't moving. So we'll put the water on now and see what happens. Water's going on now. So see now she turns off and all now, all right?
as the ball rises up and pushes the wee panel, the water gets slower and slower and slower. But the problem I had before was the water was turned off, but it didn't turn on. So whenever that goes off there, I'll push that ball back down with my hand. That's her now, look. So what I have to do now, the main test now was before, um, well, still the water's still going in yet. It's going to take But uh, the main thing is now, when that ball falls down, it needs to be pour in. So I'm going to put the ball down now. And there you go. So. That's the water stop now at that. So you just check the height of your water. So it's a bit of... It could be a wee bit, could be an inch higher that water. That's so, but it's okay at that. Everything's working now. You can just, you can just your ball cock. You just the ball to get the water, whatever height you want. It's good enough at that. Nice and free. That's probably saved me a ten or more there. Thing is, now I was going around the plumbers and then I was going to take. Uh, Luna and Diesel out for a wee walk. That's her ass completely now. That's dead on. Dead on there. Job done. Another job done. Anything can be done if you've got a wee bit of time to work it out. No, but if I went down the bat and you want, you can need guarantee a bit. Now, plastic thing. Them you brass boys there. They haven't meant to last. That's all, Spank.